Through April 30th to date, we have done 7,685,000 in sales, $880. Leaving us with the remaining uh, goal of 27,314,120 left to go. We're also coming up with an idea of a way to get you guys involved with the build out process and the look and everything. So stay tuned for that. Fan meetups, guys, we're almost there. We're about two weeks away from the first official meetup in Dallas. So go down to my website or click the link below on the networking page on my website. There is a form you can fill out. All right, guys, quick update. I have landed in San Francisco. I just checked into my hotel and did a quick little change and cleaning up and my client, I'm with him right now. We are headed to go grab dinner. I'm gonna take a look at his watches. Uh, I think I'm buying seven watches, so we're gonna sit, chat. He's a fan. Um, we're gonna enjoy my time here. Uh, I can't because of privacy again. I can't put him on video, so I'm gonna still try to put as much of this deal on the video on video as I can, so you guys can get a, a sense of why I'm traveling across the country to do it. So stay tuned. All right, gentlemen, for our next course, our creme de la creme for you. Two different cuts on the board for you. Chefs paired that along with some beautiful tasting salts. All the way to my left, potentially your right, will be the black cypress salt. In the center, salt to MB. And then we also have a beautiful Pacific Glacier salt. The, lar the larger the grind of salt, the more crunch and pop of salt you'll taste with the beef. The finer grind, you'll taste salt first, beef second, and the salt will seem very pronounced. You also have a little bit of pickled wasabi, wagyu fat potatoes. Here we have our beautiful Hyoga Kobe for you, sliced from the ribeye cut for you tonight. Extremely well marbled. Very, very tender, and one of the most flavorful of all of our Japanese Wagyu pieces. Next, of course, one of also our most popular cuts is our ribeye. Very well marbled all the way throughout. You're gonna have a little uh, cherry demi on over the top of the steak. Pieces of bone marrow that have been taken out of the bone and put right on top of that for you, so you get that really unctuous kind of meat butter taste, if you will. And a beautiful herb salad sitting right over the top. Some of our most popular sides for you tonight We'll start on my left, you have the asparagus for you, done with a little bit of Aleppo pepper. It's been quickly grilled, of course peeled, so you have a little hollandaise sauce laid right across the top as well. Next in the center, you have our grilled rams, a very seasonal green for us. You can think of a spring onion, having those flavors of mixing green onion and a little bit of garlic together to really bring this pronounced, beautiful flavor of allium. And not to be outmatched, of course, by our truffle mashed potatoes, They've been done with a little summer truffle, which is a little more similar to a porcini, mixed in with a considerable amount of butter, as it should be, as well as finished off with just a little bit of cream. shopping so we've got the Explorer one two-tone sea dweller two-tone Daytona blue sky black sky two-tone root beer and a sub so on the Explorer I'm at 8,500 on the Sea Dweller. We were at 14,000 on the Two Tone Daytona. I'm at 17,000. Black Sky Dweller, 16,000. Blue Sky Dweller, 22,5. The Root Beer, 17,000. And the Date Sub, 10,5. So all in. I think you said 107, right? I was at like 105.5, do 107. Okay, deal. Okay, and I can send you a label to have those shipped and cash is cool. I'll give you some cash. All right. Oh. 
hundred. All right. Yeah. All right, guys, it is the end of week 17 and jumping right into the numbers because I'm excited. This has absolutely been the best week we've ever had on record. Um, if you're following along every week, you know we have a sales goal and this quarter the sales goal is $538,462 a week in sales we like to accomplish to keep us on track to hit 35 million by the end of the year. This week, we surpassed that goal by 117% coming in with $1,167,050 in sales, uh, 30 watches, 23 of which went to retail, seven of which, seven of which went to wholesale, netting us $79,610.18 in profit. Now, backtracking, so that's the end of April. Uh, if you wanna go back to the beginning of the year, 35 million is our goal for the end of the year. Through April 30th to date, we have done 7,685,000 in sales, $880, leaving us with the remaining uh, goal of 27,314,120 left to go. Of that 7.6 million, $595,950.87 has been profit, which is about 12.7, let's see, 12.73% ROI. So, not a bad not a bad year so far 600,000 in profit at 12% return we're doing pretty well uh, so far we've done 343 watches at about an average of $22,173 per unit so we're on track we're also coming into May which is when the season starts to pick up a little bit so I'm excited to see where the rest of this year goes you've also seen we're still looking at a new location we've put in another proposal the Crescent turned down our previous proposal we weren't the right fit Apparently there's another restaurant going in there. That's okay. Uh, we went looking, we found a building across the street, which we're absolutely in love with. So we're waiting to hear back. Hopefully by the time this video airs or within a day or so, we will get word back. We have potentially teamed up with a designer. We're gonna go to town and make this uh, mo the most incredible shopping retail experience you've ever seen guys. So. Stay tuned. You'll definitely hear a lot more about it in the next video. We're also coming up with an idea of a way to get you guys involved with the build out process and the look and everything. So stay tuned for that. Now, a few announcements. Um, first off, I want to say, guys, we've raised almost $30,000 for Elijah's kidney transplant, but that's nowhere near enough. That's 10% of what I think we can do. So guys, if you have $5 to donate, if you've got 500, if you've got 5,000, it doesn't matter. Help us donate, help us get Elijah a kidney. I'm gonna post the link below. Uh, if you didn't see the last video, Elijah is, is a mentor to Darby. Darby is a key success in our YouTube role. He's our, our main videographer and editor. He's the one that puts all this together so that you, can, uh, you guys can enjoy it. Uh, Elijah was a mentor that got him into videography. It was got, what got him into skateboarding. This kid teaches, skateboard, teaches skateboarding to kids on the side. He's got a lot of life left to live. And I think with the presence we have out here on social media, there's no reason we can't help him get that. So guys, go down, click the link below, donate what you can, help us get this guy a new kidney. Uh, next up, I wanna go to Alexander's Steakhouse in San Francisco, where you just saw me finishing my last deal and having probably some of the most amazing steak and A5 Wagyu I've ever had. That was absolutely delicious. Robert, thank you for having us there. Thank you for the hospitality. Your menu knowledge is absolutely incredible. The ambiance, the food, everything was, uh, it was superb. So guys, if you're ever in San Francisco, hit up Robert, make a reservation at Alexander's. You will not regret it. It was absolutely well worth it. Uh, fan meetups. Guys, we're almost there. We're about two weeks away from the first official meetup in Dallas. So go down to my website or click the link below. On the networking page on my website, there is a form you can fill out. It's going to ask you for your name, the city you reside in, and your email. It's going to put this list on a spreadsheet to compile me a list of all the areas my fans live in. And we are going to start putting together meetups every, every two to three weeks, at least once a month. Two weeks from now, we're gonna do one here in Dallas and we're gonna let you guys know about it in the next video. So go down, sign up, so I know who to contact. Uh, tune in tomorrow. Watch Eric's gonna be dropping his video. We're also gonna be doing a Clubhouse Live at noon where we can talk watches, talk watch deals, talk trades, talk market analysis. Uh, 
You have a watch, you wanna know what it's worth? Hop on in the clubhouse, raise your hand, drop a question to us and we'll answer that. Uh, last but not least, guys, you, last week you watched us do a live with Roman and Eric and Vadim and Nico. Awesome, got a lot of engagement. We've got another one planned and I'm hosting this one. So tune in Friday, I believe at noon Central Standard Time. But I will post, I'll post the info in the description below to know exactly what time it is. Tune in on Friday if you wanna see all those and we may even have another surprise guest popping on. I'm not sure yet, so stay tuned for that. Uh, that's all the announcements I got for today, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you're notified every time we drop a video. If you've been following along consistently, consistently, we greatly appreciate it. We love all the support. Uh, if you're new to the channel, Every week we post a video at 10 a.m. on Tuesdays, accounting for the week before in our business. We have a sales goal of $35 million. I think we're gonna surpass that goal. We're growing at an exponential rate. We've added um, six new team members to our uh, group since we started this YouTube channel and we're still growing. Uh, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Can't wait to see you in the next one.